Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. We're tracking the weather around field days in Waikato. We're also tracking the nationwide forecast right through until Monday next week. So we're kicking off with the animated wind map Today I have added the air pressure into this as well because we've got the small weak area of low pressure that is moving in for Wednesday, Wednesday night and Thursday around the North Island and the Upper South Island. It brings very patchy hit and miss areas of rain and showers, large areas of dry as well. So some of you won't get very much out of this but others might get a good downpour as it transitions across and there's more high pressure building out on the Tasman Sea. So rainfall wise over the next three days, this is what we're looking at. So the Nelson Ranges got maybe uh, 30, 40 millimetres coming through for you. Similar story around some of those other western areas. But the bulk of the rain is going to be around Gisborne, uh, Wairoa and Hawke's Bay where the rainfall totals will be up around 80 millimetres in the hills and maybe even up to 100 for the, uh, for the ranges, the Gisborne Ranges. The totals are lower though once you go into other areas inland and the blues, greens and yellows, that's the bottom of the scale there, you're talking just 1 to 10 millimetres which is a big chunk of the eastern and central and northern parts of the country and in fact some up here in the east might get no rain at all in the next three days. So let's have a look at the forecast. This is how it's shaping up for uh, Thursday. That area of low pressure is just off to the northeast near Gisborne. That's why that rain was uh, coming down for you. There's a little bit curving around into wider Upper and near Wellington. Otherwise most places are dry and it looks as though uh, any showers will clear very early in the morning around Mystery Creek. On Friday a beautiful day in Waikato. There might actually be a little bit of uh, morning cloud and even some brief fog at this stage hopefully enough of a breeze to just blow it away and it won't affect Hamilton Airport. Elsewhere mostly dry just those showers continuing around that Gisborne Hawke's Bay area maybe also as far south as Wired Upper and in the South Island dry except for that rain coming back into Fiordland. So across the weekend this is how it's shaping up. Saturday sees showers along the western side nothing too major just a few blowing through with the southwesterlies and on the eastern side you're now dry and sunny uh, in the North Island but in the South Island you've still got some showers in fact they might even still be feeding in to southern wider Upper. By Sunday uh, those showers are easing somewhat uh, for a time but there's another southerly surge and you see that blue line that's really a sign that on Sunday the temperatures get uh, lower they drop around the South Island and they drop around the lower North Island nothing too much going on it's just a little bit windy few showers in there, nothing stormy though by this stage. And then we get to Monday and it is perhaps stormy off to the southeast and that might bring in some gusty winds in the very southeast corner there. The Otago Peninsula, the Catlins region might be getting some strong to potentially gale force winds for a time. Most of it's out at sea on Monday and apart from it being colder up to the lower North Island, about two thirds of the country will be a bit colder on Monday. The top part of New Zealand still pretty much the same, fairly dry, a little bit warmer than it should be. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Thursday with the latest.